Hi, it's Kate. I'm gonna be taking you through a 30 minute cardio workout today. We have three tiers and the movements will change slightly as we move from tier to tier. Adam will narrate as we go. Let's get started. Hi, workout friends. Adam Pecoraro here and so very happy that you're working out with us today. Kate's gonna do an exceptional job leading by example. Now we're doing 50 seconds, maximum quality reps with a 30 second rest interval after each exercise. The very first exercise, jumping jacks. Now you're welcome to step apart left to right while you bring your arms overhead. Otherwise, standard jumping jack, legs apart, hands apart. Jump rope, simulated jump rope today. Right, right, left, left. Right foot back, right foot forward, then the same on the left. squat to a calf raise, you could simply do a standard squat. Now you're welcome to do this exercise from your knees or eliminate the shoulder taps and just hold a head to heel, strong as steel, standard plank.
curtsy squat. Now you're going to cross one leg behind the other. You want a little bit of length and then we squat down. The leg that's in front is going to carry the majority of your weight, about 70% of your weight, if not a little bit more. The rear leg is more about finding stability and we're unbalancing, which helps us to recruit the core. We're going to alternate left to right as we go. Two up, two down, crunches. Legs up, ankles crossed, elbows stay flared. Two up, two down is your count so that you train yourself to recruit your abdominals rather than doing a pull on the head momentum crunch. Alternating driving knees. Now this is the last exercise of round one or tier one. All the tiers are going to end with this same exercise. Now what we're going to do is a dynamic hop from left to right. Now once we base, we're going to take the leg that's behind us and bring the knee up hard, engaging our abs. Our arms are going to pull down, we hop to the other side, we use the other leg, and we simply rebound back and forth with as much intensity as we can. Okay buddies, great job. Get yourself some water if you'd like, towel off, let's compose ourselves and get ready for tier two. Now you always have the option to repeat the previous exercises. I'll give you reminders as to what they were. Otherwise we do a variation and in some cases the variation is going to be a little bit more challenging than what we previously did. First exercise is jumping jacks again, but this time seal jacks. Hands are to the front and when your legs jump apart, your arms move out to the side. A nice way to change up the dynamic of jumping jacks and like before you can always step left to right instead of jump.
jump rope. Two foot hop this time. Now if you can't do a two foot hop, you're welcome to simply step or march in place. If you remember in our first tier, we did right, right, left, left. If you want something that's a little bit less ballistic, try that one. Otherwise, two foot hop with every revolution of your arms. jump squats. When you come up from your squat, you leave the ground. Now previously we did a squat to a calf raise and we suggested that you could simply do a standard squat. Remember those options are still available to you. Walking plank. From a high plank, we walk down one arm at a time to our forearms, and then the same coming back up. Now you can do the alternating shoulder tap that we did in tier one, or you can simply hold the plank with no dynamic movement. You're welcome to do it from your knees as well. Let's hit it. skater hops, taking the curtsy squat to a more dynamic place. We hop to the left and we stabilize on our left foot. Hop to the right and we stabilize on our right foot. Now, if you feel like you're gonna lose your balance, put that rear foot down. Try to get stability before you hop to the other side. You're welcome to repeat the curtsy squats as an alternative exercise.
toe, touch, crunch. Your feet go straight up, and we drive our shoulders up as high as we can. The higher, the harder. Now, if you can't touch your toes, it's okay, because the key to recruiting your upper abdominals is to get the shoulders off the ground. So that's what you wanna focus on. However, if you can get to your toes, it simply increases the intensity. Last exercise of tier two, alternating driving knees, the exact same way that we ended tier one. Remember to push yourself and we're gonna get a water break right after this. Okay, my friends, good job on tier two. Now get some water if you'd like, towel off, and we got one more round, and you're doing great. Now, just like before, you can always option the previous exercise variations. Otherwise, we change it up and give you something new to help you with a challenge. Our jumping jacks this time are scissor jacks. The way to do this is to have your feet go forward and back while your arms go over your head. You're welcome to repeat seal jacks or standard jacks, and you can always step if you need that adjustment. Jump rope, high knees. As your arms circle, your legs pump. The higher the knees, the faster, the more challenging. You're welcome to march, but you can also repeat the two foot hop or right, right, left, left.
in and out jump squats. From a shoulder width stance, we squat, jump your legs apart. Now from a double shoulder width stance, we squat, jump your legs in. And you're welcome to repeat our regular old jump squats or the squat to calf raise. And remember, you can always do a standard squat. Plank jumping jacks. From a high plank, your legs jump apart and then back together. Even though this is very ballistic, you do want to try to maintain stability to the best of your ability, particularly in your hips and your stomach. Don't let your back collapse down or elevate up forming a diamond or a pyramid with your body. You can always do your standard plank or we can repeat our shoulder taps or our walking plank Skater hops with a touch. If you jump to your right leg, your left hand touches the ground. And when you jump to your left leg, your right hand touches the ground. So it's opposites. This is gonna be a great challenge for core recruitment. So take your time, get that touch to be stable before you leap to the other side. You're welcome to repeat the standard skater hops or the curtsy squat. Crunch, twist. Now you gotta keep your shoulders up, which creates time under tension, meaning there is no rest between reps. It's all one long rep. For the duration that you keep your shoulders up, you wanna twist right elbow, left side, left elbow, right side. Now we do wanna have intensity with this, so you go ahead and you grind it out. When you need a rest, just put your shoulders down.
last one, best one. The alternating driving knees. You give it everything you got left within reason. You wanna feel tired, but victorious. You wanna feel happy, but not satisfied, knowing that you did your personal best in this workout. I believe in you. Great job, everybody. I'm proud of you. Thanks for working out with us. Thanks for working out with me. Great job. Make sure to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. See you next time.